Hola. Oh, hello. This is my um, second video. Sorry. And it's going to be like my prelude to my therapy session tomorrow. Oh, yes. Totally fun. No, not really. I have to find things to talk about. And I kind of run out of things to talk about after like two years. You're like, that's my cat. It's just like going nuts. But I was thinking probably talk about some relationship issues that we've been like addressing. Um, drug use is not a problem. Talked about, talked about that with Dr. Sang. He's pretty much like, <laughs> oh, I have to say what he said. He said, like, be careful partying because there's, like, a lot of herpes out there. Seriously, he said that. I was like, all right, yeah. And he also told me that I need to take birth control because if I got pregnant right now, I'd be, like, a totally horrible mother. Yeah. Like, actually, I, like, if I did, which I don't even think I can, but if I did get pregnant, I'd have, like, a deformed baby because I have to take medicine. It's really sad. So yeah, there's that. And what else do I have to say? Oh yeah, relapsing. That's another thing that we have to talk about. Ugh. I don't want to talk about that. Blah, 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 blah. Because then I have to like make confessions on here and then this would be like a confessional. Like, I want to go like in a closet and maybe say like how bad I'm relapsing, but I don't want to exactly let everybody know because then they're all going to be like on my back about it, but yeah. I just haven't been like in the mood to like even be around food. It's like totally disgusting me. Yeah. And the bottle of something something. And I probably should not be taking it, but it's not like you legal or something. It's just like gives you a little boost of energy. It's not cocaine, don't worry. Just some diet pills. Ugh. I know I shouldn't be taking them, but like right now, like I don't know, I just can't stop myself at all. I feel like I'm like humongous. It's been five weeks since I got out of the hospital and I was doing good there for about a week. Uh, maybe two, no, a week. And then I started slipping like really badly. It was just like one little thing, one little thing. And then, like, all this stuff happened, like, my parents moved back, and me and my grandma haven't been getting along at all, like, totally fighting, so I feel like I have, like, no control over anything. And things just didn't, like, feel better in my mind. Like, I know you're supposed to give it, like, a really long time, but after you've had an eating disorder for 11 years, you can't just, like, say... I'm gonna get better, like, and it's gonna be, like, all roses and shit, because that's, like, not how it works. It's been a year since... It's been a year now. Mallory reminded me it's been a year since Sayla. That was a good place, except for I totally fucked it up. Yeah, I was there for about eight weeks, maybe longer, maybe it was, like, nine weeks or something. But I freaked out when I got towards, not even towards my goal weight, towards a certain weight. I, I don't want to like trigger people on here, but towards a certain weight that I just do not want to be at. And it's still 20 pounds under what they want me to be at. Thanks for being tall. I have to have a humongous weight. It really pissed me off. And I pulled the feeding tube once. 
and they were like, you can have one more chance, but they usually didn't even do that. And I was like, okay, I'll try it again. And like, oh my god, I just couldn't take it. I couldn't take eating all day and then having that fucking thing in my nose all night. I felt like I was like being bombarded with like calories. I don't even know. Look, it's that many, I can't, I can't handle it. No. So yeah, I got kicked out. Actually, it was like, they call it AMA. Against medical advice. But it's not like I was actually choosing to leave. They were kind of making me leave. So it's like, I don't know why they call it that. But yeah, that's the second time that's happened. Actually, it's the third time that's happened in treatment. It's always been against medical advice. Because then two years ago, I was in the RCC, River Center Clinic. And... I was there for a while, and I actually did start to get better, I think. I did. I mean, I it really helped me with, like, certain issues. Um, but I was going to have to, like, move out there and, like, pay for it. And, like, I didn't have the money, so I could have probably made it work. But I went home for, like, a weekend and totally, like, crashed. Totally fucked up. And when I came back, I had lost weight, and that just, once you lose weight in treatment, you're pretty much screwed. So, yeah, I had to leave AMA again. And then I went to Western Psych in the spring. I totally, like, was retarded. Don't ever go there. It's like the worst place ever. Like, nobody is like nice and it's like this lockdown psych unit where they like make you eat it's just like uh it's not fun at all i ended up leaving after two weeks because i didn't want to be there and then i had a little stay at the hospital in august which was totally messed up Hated that. And now I'm here giving you like a rambled completely I don't even know the word for it. What would be the word? Disjointed. There you go. Disjointed like recap of my treatment life. I don't even know why I got started on that. That was weird. Um I don't know what else that I would talk about in therapy because like she already knows all that shit so why would we go over it again? Yeah. I'm like paying to talk to someone like, I don't know. I guess it's blah blah blah. So we'll go back to the drug use. Yes, I have used marijuana in the past. Uh, week or so, but um, it's been a couple days and I've been offered it a lot and I haven't done it. Can't make promises that I'm never going to do again because I've made a lot of promises that I've broken so I don't want to make any more. Doesn't mean that I am going to do it, but promises are just like really hard to make because when you break them, they just hurt everyone around you. And then you feel like shit. So I'm not gonna make any promises. I'll just say I'm trying not to. Just like with the other stuff. I'm trying. Doesn't that count? This is a long ass video, I bet. <laughs> See, my therapist probably thinks I'm crazy. This is like therapy on video. Totally cool, totally weird. All right, so we have that done with. I'm probably gonna sleep over Caroline's tonight. I don't know if we're drinking or not. Maybe, maybe not. I might just watch a movie, make a crazy video. Um, I want to end this video now before it's like super long and never uploads. Um, I'm 
want to say I love everyone, lots and lots and lots, and I love Ka Caroline, I love Mallory, I love Julia, I love everyone, and you all are super cool, and everybody else that's on my MySpace. I wish I could all meet everyone that I haven't met in real life because that would be really cool because I know I have like a ton of friends like sweet but I don't okay I blew a little smoke in the camera All right, I'm gonna end this so bye